This video will explain the proper operating techniques and safety procedures for your Champion Log Splitter. Always make sure you wear proper safety gear when using a log splitter. First, lock the support leg in place and ensure that the log splitter is on a flat, level surface outdoors. Then, chalk the wheels on both ends to prevent any movement while operating the log splitter. Next, visually inspect all hoses, attachments, and cylinder for any loose fittings, leaks, cracks, or other damage. Never operate the log splitter if there is any indication of damage. Check the hydraulic oil level through the sight glass to ensure safe and efficient operation of your log splitter. Check that your engine has correct fuel and oil levels and make sure to replace the caps securely after refueling. Before operating, clear the beam of any debris or scraps of wood. Once you are ready to use the log splitter, follow the instructions in your owner's manual to start the engine. Always position yourself on the opposite side of the engine during operation to avoid any injury from engine exhaust. Push the control valve forward to build up sufficient pressure before splitting any logs. Then, pull the valve backwards and the wedge will automatically return to its original position. Grab your log by its sides and position it on the beam. Never put your hands in between the log and the wedge. Push the control valve forward. Once the log is split, wait until the auto return has brought the wedge back to its original position and clear the split logs from the beam. Clean debris from the plate before resetting another log. And always split your logs directly in half to prevent any injury. For larger logs that are too heavy to lift onto the beam, you can operate your log splitter vertically. First, remove the safety pin and carefully lift the beam into the upright position. Make sure you replace the pin to lock the log splitter into the vertical position. Load the log onto the beam and press the control valve down to bring the wedge into the log. Even in the vertical position, the auto return valve will bring the wedge back up to its original position after use. Always refer to your owner's manual for a full description of operating techniques and safety procedures for your Champion Log Splitter.